In this video, I will show you how to repurpose one of the maps which you have built in the earlier segments of this particular multipath series and bring it into reality. In other words, convert the 2D map which you have built earlier and convert it into a 3D visual and supplement our reality. In other words, augmented reality. Let's get started. In one of the previous videos, you built this map, this application right in front of you, which is also deployed at issfinder.herokuapp.com. Now, for those of you who are unaware, this video is part of a multi-part series in which I talk about uh, how to create maps with GeoJSON, what are raster tiles on, how to build maps with raster tiles, what are vector tiles and how to build maps with vector tiles. And finally, I also talk about what are the uh, latest libraries, uh, mapping libraries out there which are uh, JavaScript related. And finally, I this is the final video where I talk about how to repurpose one of the maps, which uh, you know we built, you and I, we built in the previous videos on how to supplement our reality. All right, so with that, let's get started with this video. So a quick recap with ISS Finder, what we basically did was we used map.glds to render the map. And then we also have our Express application running in the backend to serve all our, uh, you know, the uh, location of ISS coordinates in GeoJSON format. So with that, what we basically built is anywhere, um, you know, the user, well, the first uh, capability is with the maps, they can zoom in and zoom out and the rendering is provided to us by Mapbox GLJS library. And also we are using their out of the box features like fly, fly to API, where we can pretty much click uh, a button and programmatically take us the center point of the viewport to the uh, specified coordinates and uh, this was really beautiful and today in uh, you are going to learn how to repurpose this particular map and supplement a reality in other words augmented reality all right so what is augmented reality when our reality is supplemented with computer graphics it's known as augmented reality and with virtual reality the old experience is constrained within the application in this video i'm going to show you how to bring the uh, computer generated graphics into our reality all right let's look at the final version which you will be building right here i have opened up a, a deployed version of the solution which will be building at iss-ar.herokuapp.com so if you have uh, internet connection well obviously you're watching this youtube video so feel free to launch a browser and go into https iss-ar heroku app.com and also print out a hero marker for you to present it right in front of the web camera all right so i have a hero marker already printed so i'm going to take the marker and place it in front of the camera all right look at that so here is the map which you built in the previous uh, videos, you know, with Mapbox GLJS. And uh, what I've pretty much done is I've uh, taken a snapshot of the canvas element and overlaid it as a texture on top of a 3D sphere. All right. And all of the information about the altitude, velocity, footprint, timestamp of the ISS uh, satellite is uh, displayed as a pane entity on to the left of the map. Now, how is this possible? People, augmented reality is coming to every person's doorsteps right now. And especially right now with JavaScript everywhere, it's really easy for us to tap into those OSS modules which are going to use AR.js, a brand new library, augmented reality library, a JavaScript library built by Jeremy and uh, you know repurpose one of the maps which we built in our earlier videos all right so what is ar.js now i should tell you ar.js is not a standalone library giving us all the goodness it's actually standing on top of a lot of giants it's a wrapper on top of aframe and babylon.js to supplement a reality with the 3d uh, graphics which we generated with these uh, uh, core libraries such as aframe and babylon.js now what is aframe aframe is a framework on top of 3.js what is 3.js well it is a javascript library for 3d models i will leave a link in the description box below about uh, each of these frameworks so feel free to launch them into a different tab and read about it and get yourself familiar of uh, their offerings and uh, their apis 
All right, so today what we're going to do is we are going to use the A-frame wrapper. Now, why, did we, why are we using A-frame? Well, A-frame is actually pretty nice. It provides us a declarative way for creating all these elements. And not only that, uh, it, it basically gives us the primitives as well, like box, a cylinder, a code. I mean, instead of you creating these models over and over again, see, they don't want you to uh, reinvent the wheel. Well, at times, if you really want to reinvent something or if you wanted to create something from scratch, they have documentation available for you for you to create your own, uh, you know, uh, a component and expose it in a declarative way. All right. So uh, first thing first, let's look at the implementation. On to your left, you have index.html. And as you can see, I have a Mapbox GLJS uh, library. It's pretty much so what I've done is I've used the uh, uh, the base project from our previous videos where we talked about uh, Mapbox GLJS and then I'm just uh, added more uh, another library which is AR.js and also the A-frame uh, dash AR the uh, you know the wrapper as well as the core API to provide and create this particular augmented reality. All right, so on to your left you have vendor A-frame so that's the A-frame library and then you also have the A-frame dash AR uh, that's the AR binding for it and the first thing uh, you know you have a scene so a scene a camera anchor entity these concepts actually stem from A-frame now what we do is uh, for AR we basically provide this attribute and we say ARJS equals to tracking method best uh, i'll leave a link uh, to the AR arjs documentation so feel free to check it out all right now after setting that what what it basically does is uh, ar since ar.js is a marker based augmented reality library we there is a pre there are presets like for example right now uh, the default uh, marker is a hero marker which i just showed you moments ago there is also kanji marker and there are multiple markers uh, out of the box provided you know which is provided out of the box and you can also generate your own marker i will also leave a link in the description box below on how to create your own marker and kind of point it to the scene which you will be created uh, creating with a frame all right so over here what i've basically done is i've created a, a details entity you know the pane on the left and a sphere and for the sphere i've also thrown thrown in an animation uh, tag and I provided attributes, the duration, the fill, uh, you know, do we want to rotate it forward or backward? And finally, I've given it an indefinite repetition. So the earth keeps on spinning. Then now that's all it takes. So since we're using uh, uh, AR, a which is a uh, A-frame wrapper, we are basically creating our computer graphics in a declarative fashion. And since we're using AR.js, we present a marker and ARJS uh, basically looks at it and takes the computer graphics which we generated declaratively and supplements our reality. Here comes the most important part. Now, when the map of GLJS map loads, like I've talked before, we can actually listen on the load events which are generated on top of uh, the map instance for post-processing. I've exactly done that right here. So I'm looking for the load so whenever the map is loaded i'll go fetch the canvas element and get a png version of the canvas and then i basically set the 3d sphere with an attribute source equals to image so that's about it those four lines those are the magic uh, uh, magic does to provide augmented reality all right and also like i spoke about earlier you know with animation you basically put it as a uh, nested tag to the sphere and then the sphere starts to spin that's about it guys and with that we were able to generate this uh, uh, augmented reality if you're into augmented reality or you're just trying to poke around with what's out there i uh, highly recommend that you go check out ar.js built by jeremy all right guys that brings us to the uh, end of this video i will see you all in the next video